Hi, my name is Sharon Nelson, HR manager responsible for talent acquisition with the City of Columbia. Talent in the City is our effort to highlight and showcase the departments with the City of Columbia, the department's impact players, as well as the talent who make the city run every single day. These impact players and departments oftentimes don't get the spotlight that they deserve, but without them, the City of Columbia would not run as a beautifully oiled machine that it is. My name is Ryan Green. I'm Sade Harrell, and we are HR specialist in talent acquisition. Um, I think we help uh, all the various departments. We're just an extra tool for them to use. Uh, we help them, we assist them in uh, posting job requisitions, jo job postings, uh, as well as we'll do hiring events and do pre-screening interviews to get uh, the candidates through the first steps of the process and get them in front of the hiring managers. Um, and then from there, it's on the department to kind of finish, finish the job and bring them home and uh, uh, you know, get them in the door. Um, the most rewarding part of my job is just being able to assist um, individuals that are looking for employment. Once you get that first thank you, that means a lot to me, knowing that I helped someone and they can continue to provide for their families. So the city, uh, you know, it's a fast-growing city. It's one of the fastest-growing cities in South Carolina. And at the end of the day, it's only the sum. It's only the, uh, as powerful as the sum of its parts. Uh, it takes all 40 departments, 40 plus departments. It takes all the employees um, to keep the city running, to keep the city growing, to keep the city a, a great place to be and to, to live. Um, there was a rewarding moment back when we uh, did a job fair with Tyson Foods. Um, some of, well, their employees were being displaced, and we were giving them a soft place to land. So I was in communication with a few of their candidates um, throughout the entire process and just being able to hear the excitement in one of their candidates' voice when she received the job offer lets me know that I did my job for that day. So I came to the city with 35 years of experience and benefits. When I um, came here, it was four years ago, and we have come a long way in benefits since I've been here. When I came, we did everything manually on paper, and I have um, moved that forward to now where only things we handle on paper are the things that we cannot do online. That's awesome. So you you really helped to bring this department into a new era. <laughs> yeah, of course. And I wish we could continue to do that. So my goal is to continue to try to come up with ways that we can better the benefits. Um, and keep it going that way so that it's easier for the employee and it's also easier for us doing the work on the back side. Benefits is an important role for everyone that works for the city because without the benefits, a lot of people can't care for your family, they can't get the health care they, that their family need, and everybody's situation is different. Um, my situation would be different from any other person's situation. I may not have kids, someone else may have kids, someone may have a spouse, and other people don't. So every situation or every phone call that I get, it's a different situation. 2,200 people do depend on me along with another 650 retirees. Um, you know, I consider myself the person that deals with all things employees whether it comes, um, whether it's policy, whether it's um, personal issues that they may encounter, whether it's um, their ability or their desire to move to another position, um, whether it's education or training they may want, um, just all things employees. You know, always been a person who um, appreciated people and always knew that if I'd ever gotten a role where I could just help people, especially those who feel that they don't have a voice. Um, and, and I've had the opportunity to do that over the last five years here in the city. Well, um, you know, our uh, portal is open to anyone who wants to apply. Um, myself and others in this department always get calls from people who are interested in maybe some other jobs. And we really hope that they um, take the opportunity very seriously that they share what their desire is in terms of what they want to do. We talk them through um, the application process. We talk them through how those skills could possibly transfer. A lot of times they call and say, what do you think? Do you think I'll be a good fit for this particular position? Um, and then when that happens, we try to help them get to where they want to be in terms of um, building their career. 
Um, sometimes, um, well, all times, we require that the, the sending uh, supervisor speaks with the supervisor who may be receiving an employee because that employee needs to be in good standing with the city. But otherwise, you know, there are a lot of different jobs here and a lot of different, a um, lot of very talented people here at the city. And uh, we help them try to achieve whatever career goals that they have for themselves. So this is not the first department I've worked with with the City of Columbia. I started out in the wastewater division, worked there five years ago, and then had the opportunity to promote up to human resources, started off in talent acquisition, and then started, moved over to the benefits, and now that's where I am. So if anyone was looking to transfer departments, I would say go for it. You know, go online, look and see if there's something else that you're interested in. The city makes it so smooth and such an easy transition that you can just apply and, you know, try new things. You never know what you might be missing. I think a big key to any good interview is one, doing your research on the job itself so you know what it is, um, as well as having a few good questions. It's just just have a list of questions just in case. Um, they're, they might already be answered during the interview. Um, but there are always questions to be asked and any hiring manager loves to, be, loves to hear your interest by you asking questions. What I can suggest if a candidate is thinking about applying is to one, go ahead and apply. Read the job description, compare the job duties to your resume. If something don't seem right, you have transferable skills. So just be sure you understand what you're reading on the job description and then go ahead and apply. Be ready to present your best self. Um, show up looking, you know, acting and looking professional and uh, be ready to um, present who you want them to know you are and uh, to show that you are the person that should be in the position. For more information about this position and its department, please visit www.columbiasc.gov.